Hey guys, thought I'd give you a quick tour of my gear here. This is the Explore Scientific ED-127. It is a 952mm focal length APO, and I have it mounted on the original CGX. I was an early adopter of the CGX, and um, that's pretty much the main telescope. Coming around the back here, I've got a moonlight focuser. Moonlight focuser with a, the high resolution stepper motor attached to it. The Explore Scientific 0.7x focal reducer on the back here that gives me an evil uh, focal reduction of 666.4 millimeters. A precise parts um, adapter here between the uh, field flattener and the filter wheel. This is the ZWO filter wheel. 8 position filter wheel and I've got all Bader uh, filters in the system. The original ZWO 1600mm cooled model camera. Uh, this is the original model before they put the USB hub on the back so it has an ST4 port it's, and it's not the pro model that has the, uh, the larger RAM that's, that's built into the, uh, the newer models. But still works pretty good. Doesn't cool very well anymore. It used to cool down to about minus 25 below ambient. Now I'm lucky if I can get it down to minus 15. So I don't know if it's the fan failing or what. But anyway, so the focus motor is a uh, DB9 nine pin uh, cable that comes out of the back of the focuser, goes into the hand controller that is mounted on this little, uh, this is actually a Telrad riser that you can see here. A, uh, I had a Telrad base on the scope, so I bought a riser and I attached the Rig Runner, which this is the Rig Runner 44005 model, and the uh, Moonlight controller is attached to this. So then everything else is plugged into all the power needs are plugged into the Rig Runner here. So I've got the main input. I've got my camera, I've got focuser power, I've got uh, the USB hub power. So pretty much everything that needs to be powered is powered off of the rig runner, which is nice. Uh, the USB hub is mounted to the rail that the guide scope is mounted on. And it is a uh, anchor, I think it's a seven port. Let's see, what do we got here? Four, five, six, yeah, it's a seven port. The other three here are for power only, so uh, or, uh, for charging. So it's a seven port USB three powered uh, anchor hub. And I've got a stellar view. I believe this is a 60 millimeter guide scope mounted on the top of the scope here with the ZWO 120mm mini camera as my guide scope. So um, you'll notice there's no ST4 cable because I use pulse guiding. I plug one cable into them into the mount here and use uh, CPWI and um, which is the Celestron app and that provides uh, the, the management for uh, guiding I suppose. Uh, that's it. So the nice, I mean I know it looks kind of you know kludgy here but um, the nice thing about it is I just have this one sheathed cable that comes off the back of the scope here um, and I'll follow it down and you'll see it splits up right about here and then I've got one cable that goes to power on my Goal Zero battery down here and then the blue cable is my USB 3 cable that's coming from the output of the hub and that goes to my laptop. So I only have two USBs coming from my, uh, my telescope. This one which actually moves with the mount and then the USB hub or the USB cable that's plugged into the mount here, which this position doesn't physically move, so I never have to worry about that one getting tangled up or anything. Never have to touch the hand controller, it just sets in there because I control everything through uh, the CW or CPWI Celestron app. And that's pretty much the rig. Uh, quick note, if you're having trouble with your guide scope, if you use the ZWO Mini, and you're having trouble with it, put it in position one on a powered hub and it'll run rock solid for you. So uh, that's my tip of the day there.